So I'm just going to give you a quick overview of the custom Facebook Feed Pro WordPress plugin and show you just how easy it is to set up. So I've just installed the plugin and I'm going to go to the Facebook Feed menu here on the left. And the only thing I need in order to display my posts is the ID of the Facebook page or group that I want to display. If you don't know your ID, then you can follow the directions here to help you find it. So I'm just going to grab the custom Facebook feed shortcode here, and I'm going to paste it into a page which I've already set up. And if I view my page, you'll see that I'm displaying the latest post from the GoPro Facebook page. So this is using the half width layout and by default is set to display all different post types. So you can see below each post we have the number of likes, shares and comments which can be expanded. There's also a share link which allows you to share the post in different social media networks. There's also a pop-up photo and video light box which allows you to view the photos at full size and has full HTML5 video support. Also support for Vimeo and YouTube. If a post has more than one photo attached to it, then these will be displayed at the bottom of the light box. The feed is also completely responsive and so will adapt to the size of your screen. So every part of the feed is customizable. If I pop back over to the settings page here, I'll give you a quick overview of some of the options. I can choose whether to display posts by just the page owner, by everyone, or just other people. The number of posts to display, and how often I want the plugin to check Facebook for new posts. So if I head over to the customize page, so I can set some general options on the feed, and choose which post types to display. I can also choose to display posts based on a certain string or hashtag. I can change the layout of my posts and choose which parts of the post to hide or display. I can also choose to change the color and formatting of any of the text in the feed. I can change the header text and icon. I can choose to set a maximum character length on the post text. I can also change the date format. And I can change the size, weight, and color of any of the text and links in the feed, along with a bunch of other options. So if I click on the MISC tab, I can set some options on the like, shares, and comments box, and also on the Facebook like box. I can add my own custom CSS and JavaScript to the feed. I can also choose to change or translate any of the text in the feed. So one of the great features of the plugin is that you can use the shortcode to display as many different feeds as you like and can use the shortcode options to customize each feed. So if I just go to my WordPress widgets page, and I'm going to use the default WordPress text widget. I'm just going to paste in a shortcode that I already put together. So you can see I'm using the default custom Facebook feed shortcode, but I'm changing the ID, I'm changing the type of posts, and then changing a few other options here too. And you can see a full list of all of the shortcut options in the documentation section of the Smash Bloom website. So I'm just going to add a second text widget. And I'm going to paste in a, another shortcut which I've prepared. And this one's displaying photos from the BBC News Facebook page. So if I go back to our page now and hit refresh. You'll see that we now have three feeds. We have our main feed here on the left with all of our different post types, and our two new feeds on the right, our events feed and our photos feed. Our events feed has the cover photo for each event, has a link to the event on Facebook, also has the event details, which includes a link to the venue Facebook page, and also a link to a Google map. And as we added the height to the feed, then the scroll bar is automatically applied. Our photos feed is displaying a two column grid of the latest photos from the BBC News Facebook page. So 
So I'm just going to show you one more type of feed real quick. I'm going to pop back over to the customize page and I'm going to deselect all of the post types apart from albums. And you can do this either on the customize page or directly in the short code. If I save my changes, I'm going to go back and refresh the page. So now you can see we're displaying the latest albums from the GoPro Facebook page. And if I click on one, you'll see the other photos in the album display at the bottom of the light box. I can scroll through each album. So hopefully this gives you an idea of just how customizable and powerful this plugin is. And we're rolling out new updates all the time, so make sure to check out the demo on our website and try out your own Facebook page. And if you have any questions, then just hit us up on Twitter at SmashBalloon or using the contact form on the website, which is smashballoon.com.